Hello and Namaste. I'm Suresh Kanal. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the solution of a computer operator MCQ practice sheets. Uh, that was the zero one was published in mcqsets.com website. Let me open the site first. Open the mcqsets.com website and from there scroll down a little bit to find the recent uh, post which is the computer operator practical sheets. Okay, this was the first set on this uh, the practice series and it contained 10 questions. And I'm going to discuss about these 10 questions in this video. The first question on this post was, Excel displays the current uh, cell address in the, and we have four options, formula bar, status bar, name box, and title bar. Among these four options, the formula bar, is the correct answer. Among these four options, name box is the correct answer. In actual, to the left of formula bar lies a name box. Let me show you that box. Let me open the Excel. Well, this is the formula bar. And to the left of this formula bar, there lies a box called name box. And this box displays the cell address of active cell. For example, right now our cell point is on the A1 cell on column A, row 1, and it is displaying A1. Similarly, when I go to the D5 cell, the name box displays D5 in its uh, area. Well, similarly, when you select multiple cells, it will display the number of rows and number of columns you have selected. And also, if you have named the ranges, if you have defined the range names, uh, it can display the range name also. Okay, the first question was, don't save it. The first question, uh, Excel displays the current cell address in the formula bar. The answer, the correct answer is name box. Let's go towards the second question. The output quality of a printer is measured in the dot per inch, the first option, second option dot per square inch, the third option dot printed uh, per unit time, dots printed per unit time, and the fourth option, all of above. Well, uh, this dot per inch or DPI is a measurement of how many dots can be printed per inch. However, the quality of printer is determined by the dots per square inch in case the printer cannot print equal number of dots horizontally and vertically. The dot per square inch should be considered. In earlier days, dot matrix printers could print fairly large number of dots in one inch length horizontally, whereas it could print very low number of dots vertically. Thus, to determine the printer quality, you had to consider the dot per square inch rather than dot per inch. Even though today's printers can print almost equal number of dots, both horizontally and vertically, you'll need to choose dot per square inch for this question. If you have this option available, considering the question is composed taking reference to the older collection. And the, the third question, which of the following is the feature of fifth generation computers? Valves, microchips, biochips, and all of above are the uh, four options given. I hope this question is not much confusing. Very obviously, the answer is biochips. Uh, valves were used in first generation. Microchips are being used uh, these days in this generation. Uh, biochips and the in, uh, genetically engineered protein molecules are expected as a fifth generation processing devices. So, all of above is not the right answer and biochips is the correct answer. Uh, for question number four, the collection of related records in a database is known as and we have given the four options tuple, relation, attribute, relationship. In relational database terminology, a tuple uh, is a record which is a collection of attributes or fields. A table is called a relation in uh, relational database terminology and the relationship uh, is a connection of two relations on some common attribute and thus a relation is the correct answer for this question. 
let's proceed towards question number five. The most efficient method to reduce the duplication of data is, and we are given primary key, normalization, denormalization, and ORDBMS. And the correct answer is normalization because it's the method of breaking tables into smaller ones so that you can eliminate data duplication and enhance the data integrity. That's the definition of normalization and this the correct answer is normalization. Uh, question number six, how many bits you'll need to code 100 different objects? That means you have got 100 objects and you need to give a, a unique code for each of them. Uh, if you are using binary system, then how many bits, how many binary digits you will require? So we are given the option 5 bits, 6 bits, 7 bits and 8 bits. So among these uh, four options, the correct answer is 7 bits. You will need 7 bits to represent 100 different objects because uh, 2 to the power 7 is 125, which is slightly more than the 100. But if you pick only 6 bits, only 6 bits, then you can code only 2 to the power 6 equals to 64 different objects. So 64 is not sufficient. That's why we need to take 7 bits if we need to code 100 different objects. Uh, question number 7. If name profit is defined to sell D5, that means in Excel, if I sell D5, the D5 sale is uh, defined as the profit, the name, range name is given profit, then four options are there. A, value of D5 is profit. B, formula D5 upon 2 may be written as profit upon 2. Uh, sorry, the question here is... Um, little mistaken profile upon two it had to be profit upon two i made a uh, mistake while typing this and option c is both and d none so in your exam if this is the question and you got the profit here then option b is the correct answer because once you define range names you can use it in formula as cell addresses uh, option a is not valid because uh, defining range names will not assign a value to the cell so option a is not correct uh, both is not the condition here and none is not the condition here but in your exams if this is profile and the name given is profit at that time this none will be the correct answer uh, question number eight which of the following device is used for serial access for serial access Option A, RAM, B, magnetic cassettes, uh, C, magnetic disk, and D, L1 cache. So among these four options, the magnetic cassettes is a magnetic tape, which is sequential by its nature. Other options such as RAM, disk, and L1 cache, all of them, they are the direct access or random access devices. So magnetic cassettes or magnetic tapes, they are serial uh, by its nature. Correct answer is option B. Uh, question number nine, hypertext markup language, that is HTML, is somehow similar to number A, event-driven programming language, number B, structured programming language, number C, script language, number D, MS Word. So among these four options, uh, HTML, is very similar to scripting languages. HTML documents are not like even driven programs, nor are they like these structured programs. Also, HTML is very different than MS Word. So, a scripting language is the correct answer for the question number nine. And for question number ten, which of the following devices check the physical address to route different uh, data to its destination? Which of the following devices check physical address to route data to its destination? The options given are bridge, router, hub, and gateway. Well, bridge checks the physical address, MAC address. Physical address is a MAC address. Uh, and route the data accordingly. So, uh, it's a layer to device on OSI model. So, this is the correct answer. Uh, otherwise, the router, uh, it checks the network address. That is the IP address. It's a layer 3 address. And so it doesn't check the uh, MAC address or it doesn't check the physical address. Router is not correct. A hub, hub do not uh, check any address. It just receives a sing signal, uh, amplifies if necessary, and distributes uh, through all 
the ports installed in it. So hub is not the answer. Uh, gateway is a special computer in a network uh, through which all the data goes out of the network or comes into the network from outside world. Uh, so the correct answer is bridge. Okay, these were the 10 questions of the first set of uh, the practical uh, practice sheet for a computer operator MCQ and uh, uh, some users they have answered writing it on the comment box and I have sent them email attaching the document uh, with the correct answers and explanation and today evening there will be another set the uh, practice sheet 75-02 and tomorrow morning we will explain about that set so till then uh, bye bye happy preparation